EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun at State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. Stephen Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Buffalo Bills and the San Francisco 49ers. Here's Richie James on the return. Richie James on San Francisco set to go on offense once more. At their own 27-yard line. Garoppolo on first and ten. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early. Something safe. Something they're confident about. Something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Yeah, they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. The 47-yard line. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone set. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. One-yard gain. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine. Garoppolo, this one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's a game Only three yards on the catch. Third it's third down. Six. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Second and four at the 38-yard line. The last run got six, now second and four. Snap comes in one, and it's Allen. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. 
Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll run on first down with Singletary. He'll get three up to midfield. Devin Singletary, the ball. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. From the gun, it's Allen. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. It's fourth. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game, but this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. The 49ers have Richie James back deep. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at the 20. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Taken down. A.J. Klein on the tackle there. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Looking to throw on second down. Garoppolo. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Moster. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. A starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the win. They had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm up QB2 is bringing the back up. I mean, my goodness, you take them down, you don't score points. You know, I'm being totally facetious here, right? I'm just kidding. Nice first drive. Rarely do teams score on every single drive in a game. But they like what they did there. They just hope they can pay it off this time with some points. A gain of six there on first. Six brings up second and four at the 39-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gain of 13, it's a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Relatively small sample size, but that's his longest run of the first quarter. Bounced it out to the outside to make it successful. And to get there, you actually need some help. It's not just your pure speed getting to the corner, making sure that the blocking is taken care of inside so the pursuit doesn't get you. And oftentimes, those wide receivers, tight ends that might be flexed out, they've got to control the edge and make sure no one from the outside can spill the play before he gets there. George Kittle, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. A 
play fake for Mostert. Now Garoppolo. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Trent Taylor, 30 yards. And the Niners have taken the early lead. You and I have seen some great catches throughout our days calling these games. A spectacular grab there, just a receiver making a wonderful play. When there's a chance to get six points on the board, you see a little extra effort sometimes. A terrific layout to go get the football. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. Okay. Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Andre Roberts now to return it. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards. So make it second and five. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And able to find John Brown. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. But remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way. And it's much more successful as well. They'll run on first down with Moss. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. So the shotgun snap to Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. The first drive this unit had, they putted. This drive, much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, OK, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. On first down, they stick with Singletary. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. The tackle by Quan Alexander. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight at the 19-yard line. Ready? 
After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Niners seven, Bills nothing. Second and eight coming from the 19. From the gun, Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And now he'll tuck it and run. Allen hit. He lost the football. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. I'm glad we were paying attention during the rules seminar because we learned the only time you can't advance a fumble like that is in the last two minutes of either half. Right, other than that, if that ball's out, whether forward or backwards, it's live and free for anybody. No doubt about it. When you say free, that means he's got free reign to pick it up and go. That's exactly what happened there. Took it in for a touchdown. the 25 and down at the 28 and San Francisco gets set to go here good drive last time really effective passing the football do you maybe mix it up now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit I would anticipate the defense making some changes but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction they're doing so well throwing the ball yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so on play action, it's Garoppolo. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A good pick up there of 22. And that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. That's to the right side, completes a Kittle. A good rally to the football, keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Draw play, Garoppolo gives to Mostert. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A gain of 13, it's a first down. What a breakout season where he mustered had in 2019, and now he's got a chance to be the lead back for his team. In fact, he spent time in the offseason bulking up, trying to get stronger to absorb the extra hits and be available for more snaps. He wants to be a guy who carries the ball from game one all the way through game 16 in the regular season. He was looking for Trent Taylor there, but it'll be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They'll run the draw with Mostert, and he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Ed Oliver made the table. Nice play there by Ed Oliver. That's why he went ninth overall when he came out of Houston back in 2019. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. 
Garoppolo. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of eight and a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Garoppolo's throw taken in by Samuel. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. To throw is Garoppolo. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the 49ers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the 5. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Here's Mostert. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. A five-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dot. Always a fan of the dot. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score, Niners 14, Bills 7. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. from the gun. Allen stepping up. He'll try and run. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Singletary here running out of the gun. Able to fight through one tackle. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. What I enjoyed most about watching Devin Singletary as a rookie, and he had a nice campaign, 775 yards on the ground and a rushing average in the top five in the league last year, is that what I saw in college transferred to the NFL. Continued to make the first tackle and miss, whether he was in the hole or on the perimeter. I expect him to get to 1,000 yards rushing this season. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. And now they'll throw with Allen. It's complete to Brown, right side. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. From midfield, here. 
Here's Allen. And he's able to find Diggs. And nothing but daylight ahead. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 50 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. We have witnessed touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. We'll see if the offense can continue this uptick here. And I know you're looking at me funny. You're wondering when I'm going to get upset watching these guys go up and down field, aren't you? I wasn't looking at you. I got something in my eye. Uh-huh. That's the excuse that you always use for something like that. Listen, I appreciate good offensive football as much as the next person when it's pl played well and is skillful. I'm with it. And right now, this is exciting. Oh, the defender likes it. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Raheem Mostert averaged 5.6 yards per carry last year. That was second in the NFL. So it's safe to say that it paid off that he patterned his work ethic after his hero, Frank Gore, the former 49er. That's a guy who really shows you how to go out and get it done each and every day. Raheem Mostert patterned him and had a breakout season in 2019 with the 49ers. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Jordan Reed was the intended target, and it's third down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Throwing now is Garoppolo, and that is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time.
On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. The tackle by Eric Armstead. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Throwing on second and eight, Allen. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. Give him three on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say, I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Yeah, now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Five on second down. Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 yards there. First down. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. For whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Oh, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Garoppolo going to get this off to Mostert. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here we go. 
First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. I think it's okay there they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. So Garoppolo off. Coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. Now the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room, barring something unfortunate in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team. And they'll feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Roberts now on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Just 11 seconds to go in the half as they have it first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. A final shot before half for Allen. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. Great. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And he powers his way up past the 30. Stop made by Fred Warner, who was the Niners' leading tackler during their run to the Super Bowl last year. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Singletary again. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Allen looks to throw on third and one. Left side caught by Diggs. 
And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They'll run on first down. Singletary. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They go right back to Singletary. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. So third and two. This quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Allen's throw is complete. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. After the fumble recovery, it's Garoppolo. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. On first and 10, it's Mostert. Number Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Garoppolo now. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing? Not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. He was looking for Devin Singletary there. Third down here. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. 
So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Allen. And that will be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And the Bills send the punter out as he's on to kick it away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. Well, they always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Four receivers set here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and six. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. On first down, Garoppolo. Open man is born. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Here comes the 49ers punter now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The Bills going to take over again on offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? Now a dump off here complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 22 yards there, a first down. 
Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him. And the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. They'll keep it on the ground. Singletary. Some extra space following the display of power. Down just inside the 45. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. Makes it third and three. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Javon Kinlaw in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. It's up and good to make it 21-17. Mix the score, Bills 21, 49ers 17. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Now James returning. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Niners set to take over on offense. going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Garoppolo to try again after the pick six. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. Number 31, Raheem. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. 
Garoppolo. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Singletary to get the drive started. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to keep it here. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Allen now on first down. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people will call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Operating from the red zone now. Allen, and he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it a second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Throwing again on second down. Allen, this will be caught at about the five. And the Bills are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Well, it's apparent the defense understands the situation. They have to keep them out of the end zone here. That's a great start by them. A loss on that play. Can they force them into a field goal attempt and still give their offense an opportunity? Second down and goal. Allen, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. From eight yards out, and the Bills will add on to their lead. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. And his kick is good. The score, Bills 28, 49ers 17.
Steve now to send this one away following the score. Here's James. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 26. He'll throw from the gun. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 19 yards there on the catch and run. They need a touchdown, a two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Raheem Mostert there. And it's second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And his throw here is incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise. And he was able to bat it away. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. Taking a shot for Sam. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. Well, you're trailing. It's the fourth quarter, and you've got to throw the football. But the defense knows this, too. So they're just going to sit back, bring in an extra defensive back or two, the old nickel or dime strategy, Brandon, and wait for you to put that bad boy up for grabs. And this one winds up being intercepted. With a tackle there by Quan Alexander. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, Stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. The Bills on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. They're up against a third and one situation. And he's able to find Diggs. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills will add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff position? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Send this one away following the score. Now James returning. 
And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? To throw again on second down, Garoppolo throwing over the middle and it's incomplete. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter. Is, about it, winning. is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. Well, about winning the turnover battle. As a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog, you were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. And incomplete. Almost intercepted. The D lineman almost had it. Couldn't hang on. It's but at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Garoppolo finding his tight end, Kittle. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Garoppolo, and he finds the tight end, Reed. Garoppolo, eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football, so what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive, there he hits the reliable target. With a heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. And the delay of game penalty makes this much more difficult. Third and eight. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle, and that is incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver, plays to their advantage downfield, go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Well, they intercept Garoppolo for the third time. The all-pro corner, Tredavious White picks it off. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations 
where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. The Bills on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and eight. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes. But Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. It wasn't a breakdown of protection. Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. The Bills send the punter out as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return, and the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's out right at the 25. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Ed Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Throwing on second and long. Garoppolo over the middle, and it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. Open man is Pettis. It's complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. First down, Garoppolo toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. 
Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And, uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Back to the air on second. It's Garoppolo. Open man is born. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 34-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and ten. Garoppolo again. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Makes it third and four. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And a throw there going to be incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Kyle Shanahan's made the decision. They're going on fourth down. Garoppolo to throw for it on fourth. Got his target, Samuel. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Another try after the first down sack. Garoppolo. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. Third down and more. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. One final try now for Garoppolo. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Today's final score. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.